So I just wanted to give you guys my first thoughts on Elden Ring, because I've played about four or five hours so far, and I think that's enough time to kind of give a first impression. Not a full review, but just kind of a first impression. So I've done two different characters. There is a, um, a Vagabond, which I started out with, and then I got frustrated with that, so I switched over to playing as a caster. And I've done about two and a half hours on each of the two characters. So I think that's enough time... I went to different parts of the map with each to kind of give a uh, opinion of it. So the good, the graphics look good. I don't really think they look that much better than Dark Souls 3. I think the, I don't know if it's the collision detection or the character animations or whatever, but it just looks a lot more fluid um, in terms of how you move during combat, how you fight. It, it just it feels a lot better and more responsive than it did in the previous game. That's aside from the fact that um, the, the the tech issues are pretty bad. Like it stutters a lot. The frame rate randomly drops. The screen tears a bit. There's definitely some major technical issues with this. And I've heard that that's mostly just because of the PC version. But it's probably true for most of them. So... Uh, that's the first part. The open world is interesting. I don't generally like open world games, um, or I tend to be very skeptical of it. This one isn't bad. It's The world's bigger than I think it really needs to be. And I, it, it is, you get a horse at least, and that is one thing I will give this game, is you get your um, spectral steed torrent that you can ride around on. I still think the world's just too big, and I would prefer if it was smaller. I do prefer them having uh, smaller areas like they did in the previous games. I might be the only person to have that opinion, but kind of my issue is it's it's not always very clear where you're supposed to go. And I get that a lot of people like that because it's discovery, it's your, your trial and error, you're trying to figure it out. But in a lot of cases, I feel like it just means you go and fight optional bosses or go to optional areas before you're really leveled to take care of them. And there's there's not really, I feel, a, a way of knowing. Because I feel like in the previous games, you roughly were prepared for the next boss or you had some idea roughly what their power was going to be in the power of the enemies in the area. I feel like in this game, because it's open world, you just don't have that. And I just don't particularly like that um so the open world is interesting the horse is interesting it's it's not bad it is a gimmick but i think it's a gimmick that was like decently um implemented i do get that they felt they had to innovate with the series and do something a bit different so i'll give them credit for that um i think they mostly succeeded so that's kind of the good and the neutral. Uh, let's just move right on to the bad. So I'm not going to pretend I'm good at these games. I I beat all three Dark Souls games and Demon Souls. And uh, like I have completed them, most of them multiple times. But this game I just find is like exponentially more difficult in terms of the boss fights. I don't know if that's because I suck. I don't know if it's because I'm fighting the wrong bosses. I just find like every boss in this game is, in, is has a massive just HP sponge. And you just have to hit them and hit them and hit them and hit them. And it just becomes this boring endurance run. Like right from the first boss in the game who's there to just be a, um, a troll that I don't think you're even really have to fight that early. Like... You just shoot him, you do, like, a tiny amount of damage. He kills you in, like, two hits. Like, I just... I just don't think you do enough damage. And he's, like, one of, I guess, you're supposed to wait a while before fighting him. But even just some of the other early bosses I fought, they just seem to take an inordinate amount of firepower to bring down. And that's something I liked about the Souls games is that you could kill bosses relatively easily if you were specced for damage. Maybe I need to be specced for damage, but um, upgrade materials are much, much more hard to find in this game, and it just takes a lot longer to get anywhere. 
because it's open world. I get that there's fast travel, but it's... I don't know. I just feel that you don't do very much damage to bosses. And the bosses tend to be, like, hyper-aggressive. Um, or they're gank boss fights. Or they have status effects. And that sort of thing. So, like, all the bosses i fought so far are tanky super aggressive and have status effects or their gank boss fights. And I just like, if they were going to do that, I don't get why they didn't put a co-op system in this game. Uh, Cause I mean, I suck at fighting bosses, so I normally use summons, but you can't, you can't summon in this game. I, I know like it's advertised that you're able to summon in this game. And that's like something you're supposed to be able to do. Um, in the Souls franchises, if you're having trouble, you can summon another player uh, to help you out. But you can in this game, and I'll, I'll show you if, if it's not working. Maybe it's working now, but it wasn't working earlier. So I tried about a 30 to summon 30 different people, and they all failed. Fuck. Just even the normal enemies in this. Yep, yeah, there we go. I don't know, like I said, I, I just, I find, uh, granted that was my fault, but I do find this much harder than the other ones. Maybe I'm the only person who finds this one harder than the other ones. Um, it could just be me. Uh, I was just playing DS1 and DS2, like, the other day, and I didn't have any trouble with them, uh, compared to this one. This is supposed to be, like, an early game area. I just find these guys really annoying. Once again, I, I also just think they take too much firepower to bring down. But, whatever. So like I said, I, I thought that they might like put in co-op into this game to try to maybe balance it a bit. But there is no co-op. Or there functionally isn't any co-op. So let's see if we can summon someone. Let's see. Okay, summon cooperation. Unable to summon cooperator. Oh, well that's, that kind of sucks. Uh, oh, there's another summon sign. Is this one going to work? Unable to summon. Wow, I mean, it's... I don't, like, I just don't get why they would put that feature in the game. And then just, like, did they not activate it? And I've been able to be summoned to other things, so I, I don't know. As with all FromSoft games, there's no, like, explanation why it doesn't work. You're just fucked here. I'm I'm stuck on this boss. And there's no summon system in this game, so I can't ask anybody for help. Oh, unable to summon. Cool. So you can summon NPC characters, but you can't do that for some reason if you you're configured for multiplayer. Why you can't do both, I don't know. They just want to take your choice away for some fuck. Like look at that. Just half my health with one shot. There we go. Just fucking dead. And I get I'm a caster, and I get I'm not wearing armor, but... And just look at the gank. Look at how many fucking guys they throw at you. And it wouldn't even let me use my NPC summon, because I'm technically in PvP multiplayer mode. It's just... I don't know. I just don't find these boss fights fun. Mm. I don't find... The, um, I find enemies barely give you any souls in this game. That was my biggest complaint with DS3. Is it seemed like enemies just had, like, in the early game, gave you, like, virtually no, um, souls. So you were just kind of stuck if you weren't that good. You couldn't really grind much or power level or anything. I don't know, maybe I'm just tired, but yeah, there we go. Just, like, two-shotted. But, uh, it's just, it just sucks. I mean, I don't, I don't like it so far. Maybe once, like, the multiplayer is actually functional, that'll make it better. Like, the overworld parts are okay, but overall, I just don't think it's that good compared to the previous ones. 
I just, I, I think it's, I don't know if it's just not suited to my gameplay style, if I just don't, like, get it. Um, I just find the difficulty got, like, cranked up to 11 in terms of the boss battles. To the point where they're, like, not tough but fair. They're just, like, not fun. So, maybe I'll figure it out and a subsequent review of this game will be better. But at the moment, I really have a hard time recommending it. Um, like I did all the other ones I've played. So, yeah. Um, that's my...